So, Bismillah, Walhamdulillah, Wassalat, Wassalam, Allah, Sayyid al Mursaleen, Muhammadin al Amin, Amma Bad. So, I want to talk about what's happening to in the world of athletics uh, with regards to Circus 19 and, you know, everything that is being expected of the players to do, as you know, especially in this era that we live in, and what has been the result of that, and if you should be concerned uh, or not. So let me start by uh, this title, 433 ath ath Athlete Cardiac Arrest Serious Issues, 256 uh, had mouth, uh, and after, after, you know, they got the thing on their arm, right? And so here is a list of them, and then I will show you a list, another list. Um, so let's just... So over here you can see ath ath athlete collapse collapses and deaths 2021 to 2000 to the beginning of 2022 right and so here's a graph that kind of like shows how many per month right starting off as in the beginning of January uh for deaths three deaths and then five and then four and four and then eight and 15 and it goes all the way up to 50 Death 72 collapses, right? The chart reflects numbers of uh, up to the 5th of January 2022. Uh, and uh, 423 of these people recovered, 253 passed away. Okay, and so uh, who are these people? Well, here they are. This is the list of them. And uh, I'm not going to go over the whole list right now. Many of these, uh, Indianapolis, USA, uh, you can see in February, these are the people that died. In March, these are the athletes. So the athletes are very worried, okay? And if you're an athlete, you should be worried about why are athletes just dropping dead like flies. Um, and so this is serious, serious stuff because... Uh, you know, things have been put to a stop for much, much less than this. And I can go over this whole list of people that have died playing. Because when you play, your heart, you know, because this thing, this phenomenon that we're uh, all involved in, uh, what does it do? It uh, When you take this, and I feel sorry, really, really, when you see the information that's coming out, I really feel sorry. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect everyone, regardless of uh, what they did or didn't do. But this is like, uh, you know, basically poison. Uh, and uh, so like this Russian dead, his name is Maxim, 17 collapsed and lost consciousness during football league game, right? And so you could just go on and on. July, these people died, these people died, right? And then as each month goes by, more and more people are dying. And you can see this. In August, Detroit, Stephen Sel Selvister, Detroit Central Catholic High School football and track athlete collapsed and died during the conditioning practice. This is absolutely unprecedented. And if not, then, uh, you know, somebody should make a comparison between pre this era and before this era, how many athletes used to die and this is absolutely unprecedented and i will show you the screens of people just you know like they're just playing and then they just drop because this thing directly affects the heart and the blood system and uh uh you know uh Dimitri Mick mckay usa lee high school football player passed out and died after practice so the and this is what happened to the army in india this is what happened to many people in our military here in the U.S. And so you have Spain dead. You have, just look at this list. This is not a small list. And this is uh, pretty much, I've done as much as I can. My own uh, assessment, as you'll see, my own digging into all of this. You know, uh, these are all people that, uh, you know, a uh, soccer player collapsed in the 43rd minute, okay, at St. Ruff Stadium, 
in France. And you can go through this. Uh, <coughs> graduate who played basketball for Panthers and Warriors died unexpectedly. Right. And I'm going to give you a lot of information regarding this to show this is not like one or two people that, you know, collapsed. This is like a lot of people. I mean, we're talking about and, and the thing is, is that when you take this, uh, when your blood is pumping heavy, it's hard, it's pumping fast. That's when this new thing gets kind of like tested. And so a lot of people get hurt in the process. Um, you know, and so uh, Sean Roden, Mr. Olympia of 2018 bodybuilder died, died from cardiac arrest. And uh, when you come to this website, which is called goodsciencing.com slash COVID athletes suffer cardiac arrest, die from COVID shots, you can actually click on where it says news story and go to that story and see it. Some of these we will be looking at. Okay, just kind of like in the passing. And so this, you know, to save life is to save all of humanity. And so if there's any one of you out there that's thinking of, you know, uh, here's one thing that I would like to explain to um, people that take the time to listen to uh, my thoughts. Uh, corruption of the medical industry uh, is necessary for the job. Necessary for the job. The corruption of the medical industry is absolutely necessary for the job, and this is the part of the reason. You have Masih al-Dajjal and Masih al Maryam. And one of the key uh, attributes of Isa alayhi salatu wasalam is what is that he heals people and so there is a relationship between being masih the one who touches the people that's what the word masha means he touches the people and cures them he cures them by the process of touching them you can say and so now masih alayhi salatu wasalam he is a healer and the imposter who is going to pretend to be like him has to do, has to per, per, has to show that I'm doing the same thing that I am. The, I am him. I am the Isa ibn Maryam. I am the Messiah. And so I also heal people. And so you find, for example, the Prophet saying, "Sallallahu alaihi wasallam," that the Jal will not enter Medina, nor will a plague enter Medina. Why mention a plague with Isa alayhi One possible reason would be that there is a relationship between being the Messiah and curing disease. You will also find this in the traditions of the Prophet wasallam, in which the Prophet talks about, about the Jal and what he will do with raising people from the dead in one form or another. Everything he does is, uh, you can say, false. But he pretends to be like a doctor that gives life to dead. He will cut people in half, or this one person in half, and then sew them back together. And so the medical industry has to necessarily be corrupted. And so here we find, I think, you know, this to me is better than any journal uh, article. Uh, the reason is because, you know, it's intellectuals on an armchair. But this is the real world. You, this is undeniable. Everyone can go on the internet, look up these people, look up these articles, and see for themselves if this is concerning to them or not. Okay? And so, let's continue, inshallah, here. Um, again, I don't want to, you know, I can go through the whole list of this. Finally, we got to December, and 300 died. Uh, minor league baseball player died unexpectedly no further details available and here you can click on the story right so <clears throat> athletes dying uh, as you will see left right and center okay left right and center athletes dying 
Okay, Qatar. Uh, I'll show you his. In Wakra, a sport club football player suffered a cardiac arrest during a football match and is receiving medical care. You can go to the article and see it. And it's it's not like one case. This is absolutely unprecedented for this many athletes, famous, healthy people who take care of their bodies, right? This is their job. And they're just flying dead. For what reason? So we're going to look at some of these issues. But before I go further, I want you to uh, listen to this uh, audio, inshallah. Um, see what this person has to say. Then for two, it is COVID related. With that being said, like, I don't... Oh, by the way, this is a biker. And he took, you know, the thing into his arm. And now he has issues. And so he's going to talk a little bit about that. I want you to get the feeling of this. Okay? This to be a divisive message or a divisive topic. I just am trying to share an honest update of, like, what we've been going through. And we honestly feel like everyone who watches our videos and everyone in our community is one of our friends. And we've been having a lot of people reach out that are just concerned. Like, hey, what happened? Where would you guys go? So that's what this video is. It's not really meant to be a statement. Our whole channel is basically meant to like bring people together through the shared passion of biking and life is so tough as it is already we all need good positive outlets that's what we wanted this channel to be that's what mountain biking has been for me so like it's about unifying people and, and bringing people together versus dividing people so just yeah just keep that in mind this is meant to be just a an honest what i've been going through it's not meant to divide people it's not meant to be a statement i just want to share what's been going on I guess let's just jump into it. I am one of those guys that you maybe have read about that had an adverse reaction to the Pfizer vaccine. So in early June, April and I were planning on, you know, going on this big road trip all around the U.S. We also had some plans to go to Canada once the border opened up. So we got vaccinated. Luckily, April had hers. It's totally been fine. Me, on the other hand, um, about three weeks after my shot, I started to really have some weird kind of fatigue issues and also just like some phantom heart fluttering and the only way I could explain it is I almost felt like I you know if you drink too much caffeine or something then your heart rate just jacks up and you kind of feel like dizzy and stuff I had that happening like multiple times a day and so I completely cut out all stimulants all caffeine everything and just was really kind of like resting a lot more than I ever have I'm always someone who's pretty go 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 and to just lay on the couch like a few days a week just trying to recover was a little bit weird. After about a week of that and not feeling the best, we actually went on a bike ride in Sun Valley and I had a really weird thing happen where basically my heart went up on the start of a climb and then it got stuck and it would never go down past like 150 beats a minute. Long story short, I ended up going to the hospital. Basically, they just gave me a big injection of an anti-inflammatory. It seemed to kind of like calm everything down a little bit. And then about three days later, I was, so I was kind of on bed rest for about three days after that ER visit, just not feeling very good and half dealing with some high heart rate issues where it would elevate really quickly. Then I ended up in the ER again, this time with more of like a heart attack symptom. So I had my heart squeezed, you know, really hard and then it started burning kind of uncontrollably. Ended up going back to the hospital and um, throughout the next week or two, going to specialists and whatnot, I was diagnosed with pericarditis, which is the swelling of the liner of the heart and then also fluid around the heart so that was kind of the main thing that we were dealing with at first was like uh dealing with the swelling of my heart and then the second thing that i've been dealing with this whole time has been um, something called POTS which is like postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome and that basically is when i go from laying down to standing or even like sitting to standing my heart rate ends up increasing a ton my blood pressure stays the same so it'll go from like 60 beats a minute to well over 100 and then my vision kind of blacks out and i want to pass out most of the time when i stand up so i got that diagnosed the other day at the cardiologist's office and what was really hard is he kind of told me you know we're not sure how to treat it i can put you on more medication if if that is something you want to do but it doesn't really seem to help a ton and uh, most people just get better over time, but it usually takes like about a year. So that was kind of a punch in the gut. Like I thought that I was kind of moving forward and making some progress. It's been about three months of dealing with stuff. And I thought, okay, we're 
you know, making some progress getting through this. I got the all clear in late August on a cardiac MRI. My heart was no longer swollen, which was good. And then, um, yeah, I thought I was doing really good. And then when he told me it could be 12 to 18 months to heal up from this, I was kind of shocked. Um, and yeah, I came home and like broke down crying because <laughs> I just, and mostly out of frustration, not like pity or sadness or anything like that. Just like. So now I'm going to show you uh, different athletes, different news articles, just very, very quickly. I don't want this to be a longer discussion. I just want it to be food of thought and something that if you want, you can share it with your friends and relatives. Uh, one thing that I will mention, the if you remember this uh, brother, this uh, person, when he was talking about laying down versus sitting versus standing, kind of like uh, how it affected his heart rate, reminded me at least of the hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu that is pretty very authentic that there will come a time where the one who's laying is in a better situation than the one who's sitting than the one who is walking than the one who's running it's almost like if you run you're going to die and if you're laying down you're you'll be normal and so um, I'm not saying that that hadith means this because I don't know exactly what that hadith means yet uh, I have different thoughts about it, but it's certainly an indication. And uh, it definitely uh, rings a bell with the current situation. So now I'd like to just go over some of these uh, articles. Athletes are collapsing with heart-related issues due to, you know, what that goes in the arm. And, uh, and then we talked about this. So now I'm just going to, like, just do kind of like a fast-forward you can look at We'll look at some videos and uh, some headlines here. Uh, you know, Sergio admitted for to hospital for cardiac exam for chest pain during the match. Uh, I'll let this go, and then we can watch the next video here. See that? I hope you just saw that. So the person's there, and he just collapses, you know. And uh, that's all there is. And of course, everyone understands this is what? Everybody understands that this is specifically after certain things have been put into the body. Uh, age dies at age 29 and this is also very unprecedented is the age at which a lot of these people that I'm going to show you at the age at which they're be passing away okay uh, let's go on to the next one and so uh, ex Arsenal youth player Sam OG dies at age 35 okay some of these might not be uh, uh, related to what's being put into the body. There might be other issues, other underlining issues, but majority of this is happening at an unprecedented rate because of that. Uh, here you see this article over here, and uh, you have this Brazilian soccer player dies after collapsing, right? The, the more you are exercising. I was eating because I was stressed out. Candy bars and chips and donuts, gaining weight. But since I started noon, I... And so this is about two tennis players, and then you'll see one collapse. Uh, Sadly, though, we were watching a match on, on court two just a, a few moments ago, and not really too surprising to give a match on, on court two just a... Oh. So this person collapsed. That should be enough for now go over this and teen died who died after collapse after collapsing at Princeton High School who died a teen a teen died he there's no way like from the perspective of asbab meaning whatever Allah has written is written but from the world of asbab the world of cause and effect you don't expect a teenager to die and collapse because they're uh, involved in athletics right so um, there's a definite relationship, as you saw from also the mountain bike person, uh, between uh, the heart and 
this thing that's being put into the body. This person, Samuel Kulu, is fine after collapsing on the pitch. Uh, okay. Let us move on. And this is another young athlete who's passed away. Uh, University of Ottawa Gigi's football player dies after game. Okay, this is Christian Eriksen, Denmark uh, midfielder, suffered cardiac arrest. Um, this is a person who plays cricket by the name of Wasim Abu Ali, 22, awake but shocked in hospital after collapsing on pitch in horrible experience. Okay, uh, this is uh, another athlete. Uh, and this is in the Guardian newspaper, uh, recovering in hospital after on-field collapse. This is absolutely unprecedented. And so, uh, this is in another language, so I'm just going to let it go. Uh, Gen 27 collapses on football field and dies. Okay. Um, here's another picture, but this is in another language, so I'm going to let it go. Uh, I'm going to let this one go since it's in another language. Um, okay, here, uh, some other person uh, over here has passed away. 29-year-old uh, professional football player suffers myocarditis after, you know what, they put over here, it says this, possible end of career. Okay. So, uh, we have so many athletes saying it's because of this. Indonesian double star Kildo dies after heart attack at age, what, 36. Okay. Uh, two West Indian players uh, collapse on field. Okay. So, they're playing cricket and they collapse on the field. Uh, let's see what this is. Son, we're grabbing burgers for dinner if you're interested. Uh, I'm vegan, Walter. You had bacon for breakfast. Will be swell. See? It has to be something. So the video you just saw was how Ghanaian referee Charles Bulu collapsed late in a game whilst he was officiating the 2022 Cup of Nations qualifier between Ivory Coast and Ethiopia. Referee Charles Bulu was officiating the match where 24 cricket player dies after heart attack. Okay. So. Uh, Raymond collapses and receives paramedic attention during the PDC Players Championship. Okay. Volleyball player collapses during game and dies. Uh, jets Vinnie Curry out of season with rare blood disorder. All related to, you know, the thing that they're forcing in up people's arms. Australian sailor Jessica Wetson reveals death, uh, sudden death of partner. Tom Felton, Harry Potter star, collapses during celebrity golf match. Former 49ers and Saints linebacker prays Harrison dies at 37. Uh, dies at 31. Student athlete's TikTok went viral after he developed uh, myocarditis from you know what they put between the arms. Here's what the experts want to, you to know. Story of Jake uh, Ahlinger, Sam. Uh, you know, somebody died because of playing. Uh, Jeremy Char Chardy. I regret getting, you know what? the thing they put over here 
I have serious problems now, he says. Okay. So anyone who says there's absolutely no concern is completely safe, is demented, and, and just simply uh, irresponsible. Uh, I'm going to let this go because it's in a different language. Uh, COVID world. Uh, this person, 27-year-old professional basketball player, dies five weeks after receiving you-know-what. It says there. You can read it for yourself. Um, Oilers goalie Alex uh, Stallock likely to miss entire season with heart condition. Have you ever had heard, heard this? Why don't they talk? Why is no one talking about this in the media? You know, uh, uh, here you can see it says something about you know what you put in the arm uh, with this person, and. Uh, Uh, local teen Queens University student passed away suddenly after medical emergency. By the way, in the U.S., you can't be in the university without, you know, getting the thing between your in, in your arms. Oilers forward uh, are out indefinitely with uh, myocarditis. Okay, and this disease is directly linked to, you know, getting the thing in your arm. Uh, I'll leave this, I'll leave this. Former Atlanta Hawks guard Brandon Goodwin claims, you know, the thing in the arm ended his season. How many of these athletes have said this now? Uh, that we've seen that have said because of this uh, thing they put in your arm, their, their, their career is gone. A uh, Gaslow hockey player who died uh, for nearly 10 minutes after collapsing hills. Best pal for saving his life. Uh, this guy at 31. You know, same thing. Uh, is back in training after experiencing long corona vaccination side effects. Uh, dies, this cricket player dies after cardiac arrest, suffering cardiac arrest. Um, and then let me also uh, share with you. some other stuff uh, deep sorrow grief as 24 year old former goal of the season winning hockey player dies uh, after collapse on ice okay uh, for this person again same thing medical emergency a heart attack um, and there you go See? The athlete collapses debts following, you know, what is put in the arm. That's what it says. Uh, this is another person, same thing, uh, collapses, uh, this player also collapses. So what's, what's the, what's the end result here? The end result here is if we look at what's happening in the world, you can't go to the university without taking this. Players have to take this. Players are dying at an unprecedented rate. They're getting heart attack. They're getting other blood diseases at an unprecedented rate. So to say that this thing is safe is ludicrous. It's completely ludicrous. 
and it's completely um for 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 Mus it's something uh I beg Muslim scholars to really think about and look at and to think about and try to understand what is really really going on over here. Okay, I think that will be enough for today inshallah ta'ala. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.